Okay, we're looking at section 4.2, angles of triangles. Okay, funky triangle picture going on there. I have some of those on the wall. It's a Sierpinski triangle. We could talk about that at another time. We're just going to dive in here. Activity 1, <coughs> the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle. So I want you to look at this. Here's my lovely triangle. The sum of the measures of all three angles. So I'm going to do this sneaky little thing where I'm going to rip off these angles. Whoop, ripping that one. Ripping off this thing angle of my triangle and I'm ripping off the third angle of the triangle. And now I'm going to organize these together. And even though many of you know the answer, here's what we're looking at. I can put those all together in a straight line. They form a straight line and a straight line has 180 degrees. So the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And you're like, I knew that, Mrs. Tally. Perfect. Moving on. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of a second triangle, then the third angles of the triangles are congruent. I actually don't want you to write that down, but I do, I mean, you can, but I'm going to go ahead and set this up so we've got a picture. So if I see this triangle, and this triangle have those angles congruent, and these are congruent. So if you see this, this picture right here, then guess what you can automatically do when you see it again? Then you can automatically say, hey, this other angle right here is going to be congruent. Okay, so if two of the three are already congruent, the third angle has to be congruent. Um, <clears throat> just be aware, of course, um, that it, keep in mind that I can turn this and it would still be the same. Just because I have all my triangles drawn up here the same, even if I turn it and two angles are the same, the third angle still has to be the same. All right. New vocabulary here. An exterior angle and a remote interior angle. Okay. This located right here is my exterior angle. Exterior kind of means like on the outside, the exterior of your house. That's the outside. So the exterior angle is right here and over here. Your angles in here are all interior, but I need to find the remote interior. And I sometimes say that I live out there in the remote wilderness. Okay, we don't really live in the remote wilderness, but then you live in a long way away from everybody else. Well, if this is your exterior angle, the angle that we're focusing on, the one that is the most remote is not this one. This was close by. This is a remote angle, and this is a remote angle, and they're on the interior, so it's a remote interior angle. Same over here. This is your exterior angle, so that means this is one of the remote interior angles, and here is your other remote interior angle. This one right here not remote. It's an interior angle, but it's not far away. Okay? So we're going to label some here. We're going to label remote interior or EA for exterior angle. So here is my exterior angle, lovely angle four, and my remote interiors right here, and here's my other remote interior. Three is not the remote interior because it's not remote. It's right next to Adjacent would be the word we look for. This is my exterior angle. So this is my remote interior. This is my other remote interior. If you're having trouble with this, you can actually like cut this out on piece of, pieces of paper and use them and study them until you get it. All right? That's an exterior angle. So this is a remote interior. This is a remote interior angle. Oh, I'm supposed to put RIA. Sorry. I'm sure you still got the idea. Remote interior angles. Okay. Activity two, the relationship between a remote interior angle and the, the remote interior angles and the interior, or the exterior angle. Sorry, I'm not thinking about what I'm saying here. I'm thinking about getting the screen up for you. Okay, so let's look. I know it's kind of a, let me zoom in just a little bit here so we can look. 
So I cut out this angle. It's got the exterior angle over here. And I've got the remote interior is right here. And here's my other remote interior. And this is not going to work out perfectly, but I am basically going to lay this one down, cut it out just like I did the other one, and I'm going to rip this one off too. And guess what happens if I put them over here? Do, 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 do. Of course, there I am trying to do this. My, my picture is too small. Should have thought ahead. So I'm lining up with the black with the black. I can put this one in here. You get the idea. It's just not working out perfectly on my little video here. They're the same, right? Yeah, you can really see that. All right, it doesn't. I've got another little picture here for you anyway, so that should hopefully help bring that around. The, re the relationship between the remote interior angle angles and the exterior angles is the remote interior angles interior angles add up to the exterior angle. Okay? So if I have a picture like this, if I put this angle and I move it right here, and I take this angle, I don't want to put it here, let's see marking here. That angle and this angle, and I put them right next to each other, they will fill. Uh oh, my board is having a little fix. They will fill up that angle there. So your remote interior angles add up to your exterior angle. All right, with that said, Basically, I'm looking at this one right here, come over here, 62 degrees, and I can take the other angle over here, 58, and total them up. However, we're probably not going to be moving things around. We're not going to be ripping off sheets of paper, little corners of our triangles. We're just going to say this is 62 plus 58, and that's 120, it looks like to me. So that angle there is 120 degrees. This is my exterior angle. So these two have to add up to 89. Now it's not the same as the previous one. I have to apply what I know, that the two remote interiors add up to be the exterior angle. Okay, and then I solve for x. I'm going to subtract 50 foot from both sides, and I get x is equal to 39. Beautiful. Over here, I have my exterior angle. These two remote interior angles total or add up to be my exterior angle. So 20 plus 15 is 35. 35 degrees. Okay. Also, this is kind of good to know. Um, it should be common sense. I have a right triangle here. It is now. I'm telling you it's a right triangle. And the acute angles of a right triangle, so I've already got one angle that's right, so my other ones have to be acute. See, there's a lot of them. There's my other angle. I do this and do a lot of moving around with the angles. Move this up in, whoops, whoops. And I move that up in here. Fit lovely into that corner. I just get it right. All right. And then I move this one in there. Oh, can you foresee what's going to happen? Everything just seems to be fitting today. It's like a little piece of the puzzle. We're putting these all together. And Do, 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 do. Right. This is fun, watching Mrs. Tally make that fit. Oh, doesn't that make sense, though? How many degrees are in a triangle? Oh, yeah, 180 degrees. We've used up 90 with what's left of our right angle, or we've used up 90 with the right angle. So that means I have 90 degrees between the other two angles. So the other two angles... The, the acute angles of a right triangle are going to be complementary because they're going to add up to 90. Because then the other right angle is 90, and then the whole thing adds up to 100, 180. Okay, so now we're going to use all the skills we know, put it together, and find the missing angle measures in this picture. Okay, you know, take stock of what you have here. We've got an angle 1, we've got an angle 2, we've got an angle 3 that we have to find. You can't help but notice that angle one and angle two are vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. 
I also notice I have a triangle here. Um, I do want to point out, a lot of times kids think if you have to find angle one, two, and three, you have to go in order. You do not have to go in order. In this case, we are. But don't think that you are obligated to find one first. If you can find three first, then go for it and then work your way the other way through this. All right. I need 180 degrees out of that triangle. I have already 43 and 74. So that's 117 degrees. And if there's 180 total, I'm going to take away 117 because they've already been used up. So I have 63 degrees left for angle one. So angle one is 63 degrees. And then I move on to the next angle, which is angle two. Vertical angle, so it's also going to be 63 degrees. And I notice this triangle has 180 degrees in it. I've already used up 63 plus 79 of those degrees. So I have 142 right here. So 180 minus 142 gives me 38 degrees. Lovely. 63, 63, and 38. Example three, find the measures of all the angles there. Once again, we are not obligated to start with angle one. You could figure out four right now. How would you do that? Well, I would figure it out because I have 135 straight line. There's 180 degrees. So 180 minus 135 gives you 45 degrees right there. So I just want to point out you don't have to start with angle one. But now I'm going to go to angle one. So 45 and 85 is 130 degrees. I have a triangle that has 180, so that leaves me with 50 degrees right there. Now I'm looking at angle two. Gosh, it's just right over the corner there. Oh, yeah, they're vertical angles, so angle two is 50 degrees as well. And then I'm looking here. I see that I have to get angle five is all I have left. Ooh, you know what's interesting? That they just so happen to give us an exterior angle. And an exterior angle is the sum of its remote interior angles being 75 and 45 degrees. So I could do 75 plus 45, and I get 120 degrees for this exterior angle. Now, let's say you didn't see that. You're like, I didn't know that was an exterior angle. I just didn't see it, Mrs. Tally. That's okay, because you could have taken 180 degrees in your triangle, taken, um, subtracted 45, subtracted 75, and figured out that this is probably going to be 60 degrees. <clears throat> if this is 60 and this is a straight line, 180 minus 60 is 120. So you could have gotten there a different route. You could have done that on any of those other problems with that. Example four, doing the same thing. We don't have to start with angle one, but I can't help but notice because we were talking about remote exterior, or remote exterior, silly me, exterior angles and the remote interiors. I think angle one is going to add up or be the sum of its remote interior angles. So I'm adding those together. 70 degrees, so angle one has got to be 70 degrees. How do I figure out angle two? Oh, it's a straight line. 70 from 180 is 110 degrees. Okay? Angle three. Do, 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 do. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to take 180 away from 110, or 110 away from 180. It's 70 degrees. So now total in this triangle, I have 70 plus 64. I have 134 degrees. And I'm going to take that away from 180. Or take, yeah, take that away from 180. So that I have 7 minus 3 is 4. So this should be 46 degrees right here. Okay? This is a straight line right here. I have 32 accounted for. I have another 46 right here. So I'm going to take 32 and 46. Take that away from 180. I don't know if I need to show you all the math on that. Um, I'm going to have 102 degrees. So this angle right here, 102 degrees. So 102 plus 46 plus 32 is a total of 180. Still have to figure out angle 5. I'm going to use 180 degrees in a triangle. Well, I've already used up 102 and 41, so I have 143. And I need to take that number away from 180. So I have 7, 37 degrees. Okay, so that, and then double check, you know, 
when you're working on a quiz or a test or on your homework, make sure, does this actually have 180 degrees? 180 degrees. They should all have 180 degrees in the triangles. And we are done.